Hey guys, Braden here and welcome back to City Skylines and Alexandria is not dead after all. She lives and she's better than ever, as you will see shortly. But uh, I have come back from a little break thing that I had. I don't know, I was finishing um, a film diploma uh, and I had about one term to go of that and I thought it best to focus on finishing that to a higher standard than uh, worrying about City Skylines because City Skylines takes up a significant amount of time when you go recording and I mean since I booted it up for the first time after finishing I've spent another 35 hours on it and that constitutes most of this episode now granted a lot of that wasn't recorded I'll run you through all the stuff that wasn't recorded in the live stuff but uh, there's a fair amount of time in City Skylines and it's not just a game that you boot up, especially not for me anymore. I know that's partly my fault because I'm running a heavily modded game on a computer that's really not designed to run it, but um even still it's a it's a big it's a big commitment and it's kind of a pain in the ass and you know, it's it's a love-hate relationship that I think most people who play City Skylines have with the game. But uh, when you when you see the finished product it's all right. Uh, so what we're building this time is well, a few different things. To be honest, I need to put my fan on. It's quite warm. Eh. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't come through the microphone too badly. I should have cleaned my microphone as well. Obviously I haven't used it in a while and it's covered in dust. So my hay fever is going to be fucking atrocious by the end of this. So that's cool. Um, but what we're building this time is a hospital and some apartments. Uh, we filled out the big residential development. Now that's the first thing that we built. It's all those residential apartments and buildings and stuff uh, that are over um, on the near the interchange. You know where it is. I can't explain stuff. Also, does anybody remember the names that I gave the districts? Because I know I gave a couple. I know I gave the one down by the lake a name and I gave... The, well, actually, most of them, well, the whole city's on the lake. But I gave the one over on the bridge side a name that's sort of set down lower. And then I gave the beachfront yacht place a name. And then I think I might have named other stuff, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the bloody hell I called them. So if anybody remembers that, tell me, because I don't know. But um, anyway, aside from that, um, this area is basically done. And that feels really good to have an entire area done now. I don't have to touch anything over that. Well, actually. It's not really entirely done. I guess a section of it's done. This group of buildings is done, but the interchange and freeway that runs next to it needs to be sort of reworked and changed, and then other bits aren't completely filled. So yeah, no, it's not really done at all. But still, it's more complete than it has been, and it's done to a pretty high standard as well. The downside of that is that my game runs fucking atrociously now. The worst it's ever run, basically. When the game is running and I'm looking at anything that I've built, which you kind of want to do because you've just spent 30 hours building it, yeah, I, I get like between 8 and 13 frames a second, which is not ideal. It's, I mean, it's, it's all right because Cities isn't exactly a game that you need an ultra high frame rate in, but still, it makes the game more enjoyable when you can actually see shit like it as if it wasn't a stop-motion film from the 1930s or something, I don't know, but either way, it's um, it's a it's a serious challenge and it drives me mental, but that's the reality of it. Um, I was saying before that my system is hopelessly inadequate for running City Skylines and hopelessly incapable of doing it, and that's true. It's a four-year-old i5 chip that I don't think is overclocked. It might be sitting at 4 gigahertz versus the 3.6 gigahertz stock clock. But it's an i5, it's a quad core with no hyper threading and I think cities can use hyper threading. I think it can utilize up to eight threads. I thought I read that somewhere, let's have a look. But I don't have hyper threading either way um, and that's a challenge. Um, I have a 950 on stock clocks which is a middle of the line cutter. But I mean a GPU is not really that necessary for running cities, the graphics engine isn't that intensive. Um, cities, Vitties. City Skylines um, threads. Eight core CPU. Here we go. Um, I had no idea Cities was so mal well multi threaded. Really? Oh! Apparently you can use up to 16 threads. Wow. Oh, yeah, it runs in Unity. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Okay, so if I was to run like a Ryzen chip or something, which I would when I build a new computer sometime next year, it should be able to use all the threads, which would be just delicious because they're 8 core 16 thread chips. That would be nice, having quadruple the cores I have, or quadruple the threads I have now. That'd be nice. Um, and I think the main thing really that's affected me at the moment is RAM. I'm a psychopath who runs a heavily modded City Skylines games with 2,500 assets uh, on 8 gigs of RAM. It's a challenge. It's a serious challenge. I mean, at this point, from the time I click play in Steam to the time I'm actually building, it's a good 40 to 45 minutes. Because the game actually takes about 30 minutes to load up. Um, including loading to the main menu and actually loading the save game. And then after that, it lags like nothing else you've ever experienced for a solid 10 minutes. You basically just got to try and zoom in, let the game play, and then just set your mouse at the top of the screen so it runs through and then loads in all the props and assets and stuff. And then come back and then do it at a shitload of different angles so that basically everything is loaded in, then you leave it for another 5 minutes, and then it starts running at 10 frames a second. So that's the sort of problems I'm dealing with at the moment and it's a struggle I mean I know there's other people who have issues with it but that's pretty extreme I feel I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of people who have it that bad but um yeah that's what I mean by it being an investment it's not just oh I feel like building some stuff you click it and you start building stuff I have to pre-plan when I want to play City Skylines like oh am I going out in an hour oh yeah I can't play City Skylines because that means I'm only actually going to get to build for 15 minutes and if you play City Skylines you know you're not going to get shit done in 15 minutes you just won't you might be able to place I don't know a single parking lot with not a real lot of detail and that's pretty much all you'll get through like a lot of the stuff I've just kind of deleted the building there that drove me mental because i had an especially bad time booting up the game for whatever reason it took a good hour actually because it crashed midway through loading and I had to boot it up again and I mean it's not like I'm sitting here looking at the screen doing nothing for an hour I find that in that 40 minutes or whatever while it's loading up I find that I'm far more productive than I usually am because I'll like, like yesterday I cleaned my room and it looks fantastic or I'll sit down and I'll read a book or whatever I'm reading The Hobbit at the moment um, or I'll go and do a load of washing, or hell, I washed my car once while the game was loading. So I'm fairly productive, I'm actually doing shit, and that's, I suppose, a pretty decent thing to do, because I generally wouldn't really do those things if the game just loaded up, I'd just start playing. But um, you find ways to kill time when you actually get shit done, so that's sort of beneficial. But by the time you're ready to play, you're sort of like, oh, really? Do I really want to play this now? You sort of feel like you've waited 40 minutes, so you're sort of obliged to do it, which you kind of are. Like, if I wait 45 minutes for this thing to load and then I decide I don't want to play it, that would crush my soul. Uh, speaking of crushing my soul, there's a bunch of stuff that I wanted to record, or that I actually did set to record, such as reworking the big old interchange that is over towards uh, this side of the bridge, the city side of the bridge sort of turns off and takes you down towards our little industry area where there's the cargo train station where the cargo trains come in. Uh, I built a few things around there that I didn't record because I was just sort of getting my eye back in after being off City Skylines for a fair while, but um, essentially I did... I did an office and the surrounding infrastructure and everything for that, which I didn't want to record. But then I did a series of shops and I reworked that interchange and did a bunch of decal stuff, which I thought was recorded. It should have been recorded because I set it to record. But um, I was set to record to my external drive, which I think is a K. It's set as the K drive or something. And I didn't look at that in Fraps when I started recording. So... Because the K drive wasn't plugged in, it reset to my C drive, which is my 120 gig SSD, which is tiny and basically full. So it recorded for two minutes and then nothing. So I lost all of that and that crushed my soul, which was nice. As if my soul hasn't been crushed already by playing City Skylines. Um, I don't know, it's... Everything seems to go wrong while you play City Skylines. It is very much a love-hate relationship, but then you sort of sit back at the end of it and look at what you've built, and you think, holy shit, I did that? And it's 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 rewarding. It's soul-crushing while you're doing it, but the finished product is... It's, it's pretty rewarding, and I think that's... 
well, you need that. Otherwise, there's really no reason to play City Skylines. I don't know why anybody else would put themselves through the pain of playing City Skylines if there wasn't a payoff at the end of it. So, that's good at least. You, know, you don't feel like you've wasted... I mean, I do feel like I've wasted my time when I play it. I mean, I've spent 3% of my life since City Skylines came out playing City Skylines. Oh, it's just slightly suicide-inducing, but, you know, that's all good. I mean, I've grown the channel significantly off City Skylines. I've made a bunch of money off it for what that's worth. I don't really give a crap about that. It's not enough to be, like, make a living off it or anything, but yeah, it's kind of nice. I probably should have spent all that money on, um, I don't know, buying new hardware so the game runs better or something, but I've spent over the past two years about $900 paying off speeding fines, <laughs> which is, uh, yeah, you can say what you will about that. I know what I'll say about that is that I'm a dumb shit. And also police revenue raising, but also I'm a dumb shit. One of them was actually both of them were my bad. But let's anyway, let's not talk about that. It makes me look bad. Um anyway, if I, I wasn't an idiot and didn't have such a heavy foot, it would be uh or maybe the game would be running better. So yeah, there you go. I'm suffering from my sins. Haven't learned my lesson, though. It probably would have been a good thing as well if I didn't buy a new car that was a turbo. Yeah, good choice, Braden. Also, since I saw you last, I've been in a car accident. That was fun. Car got written off. Written off? Written off by a little uh, dude who decided he would run a red light. And I don't mean just a little bit red. I mean, my light had been red for three seconds and I was in the middle of the intersection when he hit me. So that was a good five or six seconds or so that the light had been red. He T-boned me. Luckily, it wasn't like a full T-bone. He hit me side on, but it wasn't on the door. It was about a foot forward of where I was sitting. It sort of smashed the wheel well, um, shattered the front axle. Why am I talking weird? Axle, axle, pronounced properly. I'm not a Kiwi. Um, shattered the front axle. It smashed all the engine mounts on the right side of the engine bay, I think, as well, because the engine was hanging real low. Wheel was smashed up. Tires were ripped off. Um, all the crumple zones on the right-hand side of the car had sort of crumpled in, and the roof lining was gone, and smashed windows and headlights and oil and fluids leaking and everything. So he, he did a number on the car, which I'm actually kind of grateful for, because I never, I wasn't a huge fan of that car. I bought it because it was... The right thing to buy at the time but it was never really much fun and um, it also had some pre-existing damage on it from when I got smacked it into in a car park and someone decided not to leave a note so that car would have been really hard to sell and I would have got a good few grand less than I would have compared to the payout so you know silver linings to getting t-boned I would have probably have rather not got t-boned but now I have a five-cylinder turbo hot hatch sitting out the front and it's bright red and has a couple of stickers on the back so that's a real cop magnet which is fun but anyway uh so any what what can i talk about i just seem to ramble about random crap i guess it's this is kind of an update video as well because most of the people who are going to watch videos on this channel will be watching this series so i might as well just weave it in uh, but i suppose i've done enough of that and i should talk about building things i have downloaded a fair few more assets since i've come back i've used i've downloaded the metro overhaul mod i haven't really used it yet mostly because i haven't had to i mean the city's not really big enough yet that it needs to worry so much about public transport but that's something i need to do and it needs to have like pre-existing transport infrastructure for when the city does get big I am kind of dreading it getting big, though, because it's going to run so poorly. Hopefully by then, however, my PC will be upgraded. And what do I have to run? Like, the city has four and a half thousand people in it right now. I'm getting 10 frames per second. What would it run like if it was a 50,000 population city? I doubt, I doubt it would run. I don't really want to know. I don't want to think about that. It gives me nightmares, but... I have downloaded a few extra mods and assets like I needed them. Um, but Metro Overhaul and a few different things. I'm not exactly sure what I have downloaded recently. Let's go into my, uh, little, 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 what's it called? Workshop. And, uh, have a gaze at some of the new stuff. I don't think there's been too many new mods, um, in the time I've been away. Oh, there's a no boys mod. Boys, buoys, whatever. Um, which gets rid of the boys that are out in the lake when you create a, um ferry line 
because I always hated them. I thought, what would you have boys there? That's stupid, and that gets rid of them, which is awesome. Um, oh, one of the best bloody mods is the theme mixer. That's so good. You can essentially take all the themes that you have um, from the workshop, and you can pick all the best bits of them, all the different textures and things. So you can take like rock textures or cliff textures and grass textures and concrete textures and stuff or asphalt, whatever. And you can sort of just mix and match them all together, which is freaking awesome because I liked a lot of the stuff that came with the realistic 1.8.69, whatever the hell mod um, we're using now or whatever theme we're using now. But I hated the concrete because it always looked really dirty and crap. So I downloaded a different um, concrete texture from a different theme and then went into Theme Mixer, changed up the concrete and it looks way cleaner. And if you want it to look clean, it can because that's the base texture. Or if you want it to look a bit more worn, which you usually do because concrete's worn, um, you just go through and you add a bunch of decals down, which is awesome. It's also not good because it means that there's more decals there and I really can't run them, but whatever, it's fine. Um, what you're seeing me build now, by the way, is the hospital because the city was in desperate need of some health care. Everybody was complaining. I kind of hoped that this would fix the issues I was having with land value because there was a lot of um, a lot of the buildings I'd placed down, the Rico stuff, they were all complaining about lack of land value. There's a couple down towards... What's it called? Let me go back into the bloody dashboard and see. I wonder if I called the episode that. Beachfront Entertainment, no, that's not it. Uh, industrial Intersection, no, that's not it. Freeway Rest Stop, no, okay, I have no idea what that's called. Hampton. Hampton Beach. Hampton Bay? Hampton Bay, that sounds right, doesn't it? Hampton Bay. I don't know, we'll call it Hampton Bay now. Um, there was a few down in Hampton Bay and a couple in the area that you just saw me working on that were complaining about low land value. Uh, and when they have low land value, very few people move into them, which is a pain in the neck. And I kind of hope that adding a bunch of healthcare and a, like a literal, this is the biggest, most powerful um, hospital that you can pretty much have in the game. It's a custom one and it's got like 50 ambulances and a capacity of a thousand people or whatever. It's pretty crazy. And I thought, yes, this will solve the problem, but it didn't. So there you go. That's pretty good. Um, but either way, it's it's a pretty ballin' hospital. I like it a lot. There's a few more buildings across it, so it's its own little self-contained sort of area. Um, it's it's good. There's a bus stop in there as well. Um, I've been using a lot more decals and stuff recently, which is good because everybody else is, and you got to keep up to up to date. Make sure you're up to scratch with the stuff you're building. It's kind of difficult to gauge how you compare to everyone else but I guess the best thing and that's the sort of advice that I would give to anybody in a creative industry whether you're just making YouTube videos or whether you're a writer or a filmmaker or an artist or whatever is don't compare yourself to other people like especially when you're comparing yourself to people who have been doing it longer than you they weren't always that good and I mean I made that mistake a fair amount um in the early days of City Skylines when I was building stuff, I'd look at other people's stuff and think, oh man, mine's shit, I hate it, why do I even bother? And then I'd like, stop making videos for a while because I thought there was no point because mine weren't as good. But, uh, you know, don't do that. Yours are probably as good. Or if they're not as good, they're different. Everything's good. I mean, all, all the builders out there that are building stuff in City Skylines now are pretty balling. I don't think I'm the best out there, but I think I'm, I'm pretty decent, I hope. I don't know. I don't want to sound conceited when I say that either, but I, I hope this, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the stuff I build, and I guess that's really all you can ask, because at the end of the day, you're the one that's looking at it, and you're the one that needs to feel like you haven't wasted your time. So if you're happy with the stuff you built, then that's all you can really ask for. And if you're making videos on it, and the people who are watching the videos like it too, well, then that's just a bonus. But, uh, this area turned out really good. It's nice to see everything sort of filled as well, because when you're building different areas and things, you always tend to have like little patches of grass that don't have anything in it or dead patches of concrete where there's nothing built. And it's just like, oh, I want it to feel done. I want it to actually feel like a city. So you can move across at least a small area of the city where everything's done. And that's the point we're at now, like down to the beach and the yachts and everything and the, um, wherever that Forever 31 store is. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know any of the names of this crap. It's not like I built them or anything. 
but down there all the way to this area and then through to like the cargo area as well up to the bridge and through Hampton Bay or whatever the hell it's called that's all basically done and filled in now all those areas have been filled in with trees and grass and shrubs and bushes and all that crap so it's pretty much like a done little section of the city which feels good I like it even if there's only maybe four to five thousand people in it at the moment it's not really functioning as a huge city but it is functioning and that's kind of nice so there you go uh but we're coming towards the end of the time what's it called time lapse there you go see I'm, I'm rusty i don't know i think given that i haven't had to sit and talk about nothing for half an hour in what three four months i think i'm doing all right so far i reckon maybe that's just because i haven't recorded in a long time and i actually have stuff to talk about that may actually be helping me Maybe I should just do a video once every three months. <laughs> I think that'll drive people mental, though. I don't know what the schedule will be for City Skylines. I think it'll pretty much be as before, whenever I can get a video done. There'll be a video up. I'll shoot for one a week, but if it's it's probably more likely to be, to be one per fortnight. So, sort of expect that much. Um, as for other stuff on the channel, I don't know. I kind of want to try some other creative games. There's... um. What's that bloody called? Ancient Cities? Ancient Cities? Yeah, that's it. Ancient Cities game, that's right. Because th it was on Steam Greenlight or something, and I believe it got greenlit. So, hopefully that comes out, and maybe I will get onto the devs to see if we can do some stuff in that. Because it looks kind of interesting. It feels very banished -y, but with a much nicer lighting and um, graphics engine so I'm pretty keen for that and maybe it's sort of more creative actually banished has become pretty creative if you use the colonial charter mod and there's also the mega mod as well I'm more of a fan of colonial charter because it's easier to wrap your head around but um yeah it's become pretty nice and hopefully ancient cities is like that as well because I want to expand into some different stuff I'm kind of like I love city skylines but I don't just want to have like one video every 10 days up I'd like to have something else for people to watch um, even if it's not the main series. I've, I'm going to finish Banished, actually, because we had the Colonial Charter series on there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a two-part finale to it because we got up to eight, episode 18, and I think episode 19 and 20 are just going to end up being sort of a two-part finale with all speed buildy stuff. So I'll just build and finish off the city, do it in a speed, speed build, talk over it, and then we'll have like an actual finale, which is a tour of the city. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, I'm not, I don't know, that series wasn't real popular, but I freaking loved playing Banished, and I still do love playing Banished. I mean, I went from 30 hours in that game to 100 hours throughout that series, so... If you're spending 70 hours on a game in a relatively short amount of time, then it's probably pretty good. But if you have any other suggestions for City Skylines-y kind of games that people would like to see... I know the City Skylines crowd, myself included, are sort of, um, they just want to see City Skylines... But um, if there's other stuff that you'd be interested in, any games that you think would be cool, like Ancient Cities or whatever, let me know and I'll, I'll give them a look. I'd kind of want it to be in the vein of City Skylines, though, with the really nice decorative stuff. Because the base cities game is sort of eh. Like, it's a, it's a fun city-building game, but in terms of making cool, realistic cities, it's a bit eh. Like, visually, City Skylines isn't very impressive. It's kind of an ugly game, in my opinion. I know people might disagree with that, but I don't think it's a particularly good-looking game. Mods and stuff help, of course, but as for the engine... I mean, it's a Unity game. You can't expect too much from Unity, but it's not a, It's just not a super good-looking game, in my opinion, at least. Like I said, mods and all the lighting engines and stuff that you can get definitely help a whole shitload. But um, the base game itself and some of the base assets and things, they don't look particularly good, I don't think. Um, one game that did look fantastic, but also sucked up. Well, not sucked ass. It sucked ass a little bit, but it wasn't completely atrocious. It was SimCity 2013. I think that's a fantastic looking little game for what it is. It's not meant to be ultra realistic. Um, I'm going look at some screenshots of that game. I haven't played that game in eight years. That's a, that's such a good looking game. Oh, I love the tilt shift. Uh, if only they had have gone the route of City Skylines with it. That game could have been spectacular. I mean, I still spent 500 hours in it. So I liked it, but... I don't know. Oh, look. SimCity versus City Skylines. Gee, I wonder which one will win. Who can know? 
Anyway, I think um, I've pretty much talked about everything I can for the time being, so I will likely bid you farewell for the time being, leave you to watch the rest of the time lapse, basically just finishing off this little um, closed off area with a couple of apartment buildings and the um, infrastructure around them. Uh, and of course the hospital, I think the hospital's pretty much done though, except for maybe some stuff on the back of it, but um, we'll uh, finish off uh, the parks and parking around these few buildings and I will see you in the live stuff.
I'm starting to forget what the world looks like at more than 10 frames per second. I feel like I see it so rarely these days, but either way, and regardless of how poorly the game runs, uh, I've done a bunch of stuff outside of the recordings. Not all of it was meant to be that way, but it's just sort of worked out like that anyway. But uh, the city looks pretty bloody cracking right now. Not the sea monster, but the adjective. Yeah, I haven't got any funnier since I've been gone. But yeah, uh, City Skylines Alexandria is not dead. One of the comments on the last video, which was five months ago, Jesus, uh, said, is the series dead? And it was for a long time. But no, I always had plans to bring it back. It was just a matter of when, and that when is now. So... You've seen the time lapse, you've seen the stuff that I've built, so let me give you a run through the stuff that I haven't, and then we'll have a look at the stuff that I did. I've also done uh, extra bits that was pretty much just the same as what I was doing over here. Like, you saw me build all this stuff in the time lapse and everything, but there's also uh, some stuff over here that wasn't shown in the time lapse because it's just, it's reiterating the same stuff, and the time lapses are long enough as is, and they get repetitive if it's just like 40 minutes of the same crap. So you try to mix it up a little bit, cut out stuff that you don't need. Uh, but some things that I did outside, the first thing I built after coming back was this area over here. This is just an office building that uh, is off this intersection here. This intersection was just sort of plonked in the open and there was nothing really around it, so I decided I'd start filling it in. This has also been completely reworked, so now uh, you can't actually turn across here at all. We have some time traffic lights and the way you get to the industry area from this side of the road, if you're coming up from the bottom, uh, as you turn left into here, you go around the roundabout, then you come over this way, then you go through the lights, uh, which is the best way of doing it pretty much because there's not a tremendous amount of traffic coming through there. Most of the traffic that comes into this industry area is coming over the bridge so they can just sort of shoot through on this slip lane. Um, but this guy will come around here. Is he going to do it? Yeah, he is. And then he can... Uh, actually, these guys might go left, which would not be ideal. Come on, go straight ahead. No, okay, well. That's not exactly what I wanted, but whatever. But uh, this, all, all this has been fully reworked, so it's flowing really well now. Um, these two traffic lights as well are synced, so when this traffic light goes, this one goes. Which I like a lot, and then these guys stop. And then this one, when it goes, it goes right through here, so traffic can come off to the right, but then they stop because this one's red so they don't sort of interfere with these dudes pulling out so they can just flow straight out. It all works pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. There's not a huge amount of traffic on it at the moment, so I'm interested to see how everything works once it's sort of... Well, once this is connected, really, that's going to be the big um, deciding factor because this tunnel reaches this tunnel over here. So once there's traffic flowing through from this part of the city and going across the bridge, it's probably going to collapse, but we'll worry about that then. Uh, we also meant to record this. I did mean to record all of reworking that intersection, but I think I mentioned it in the time-lapse commentary, but I set the wrong recording folder or whatever that was empty and or didn't exist, and then it went to one that was empty, so none of it got recorded. So that was good, but all that's been built. All this stuff in here has been filled in. This was all just blank grass, pretty much, so that's all been... I also built a truck stop and a fire station over here, so this fire station serves this area and this area and probably the industry area as well, which is nice, sort of comes over across the freeway like that, which is pretty nice. We still have all this down here, which looks good. Uh, what else did I do? I think I just did some other bits and bobs, really. Um, these cliffs down here are I don't know, I, I need to find some better cliff assets. Someone needs to make some good cliff assets. Because the cliff textures, they just sort of... They smoosh all the rocks down and stretch out the textures and they look kind of like ass. And not a huge fan, you'll also see that over here. God, it runs poorly. Yeah, so it doesn't look fantastic. We'll figure out some way around that. It's not a massive issue at the moment, though. Uh, what you did see me do in the time-lapse, however, is this area over here. I placed down all these buildings and then decorated the living crap out of them. So this is all filled in now. Uh, we have a little bus area here, a little bus station with a car park, so you can park your car and hop on the bus. Which is nice. We have a bunch of parking and stuff in here, which very few people are using, but that's okay. I basically stopped using functional parking and just went to decals, and now I'm using um, prop cars to fill it in to make it look like people are parking there. Because there's way too much parking in the city, and you wouldn't realistically use it all, so... 
Uh, is the game saving now? Well, that took way too bloody long. Right, uh, anyway, where were we? Talking about this area. Yeah, this has all just been decorated and filled out. I remember the days when I thought, no, I don't want to use more beautification. I actually watched the video as well, the first time I used more beautification. I'm like, oh, you can build such cool stuff, and now that's just become the core of the game. Is over decorating things, which is nice. Uh, oh, look, there's a bus coming through. We do have some bus lines operating at the moment, which is good. So, picking up passengers and taking them wherever the hell they need to go. There's another fire station in here as well. Just just sort of plonked in among it all. Got a car park and everything. Which is nice. These big empty car parks have been filled out with prop cars as well. I want to download some more prop cars because these aren't the greatest. Their colour sort of randomization is a pain in the ass as well. Because sometimes they'll give you five white cars in a row or five bright blue cars in a row and you just want it to randomise and no matter what you do it won't do it. So it looks like shit. I just did a Donald Trump hand gesture as well. That's interesting and slightly terrifying. Uh, one thing I've noticed as well is that well, A, these textures of little tiles are like over on the road because I upped the size of this road. This used to be a two-laner, now it's a four-laner. But we do get big chunks of, I, I assume, regional traffic coming into this station and then you just get 500 cars pour out of it and that ruins our traffic flow for a second, but it's all good. Uh, the other thing I built is Le Hospital, which looks pretty balling right now. I like it a lot. I'm happy with it. There's some decal work. There's a car park out the front. Um, there's a bunch of ambulances parked out the back. Oh, look, these guys are actually... This is functional parking they're using, it, which is a nice change. Um, lots of parking around here. There's a couple of apartment buildings here as well, which is nice that people are living in and car parks and stuff for them. Uh, and then some park space out the back for all these guys to use, just to break up all the concrete, because there's a lot of concrete and stuff over here. So I thought, let's get a little park space in the back of this joint. It's kind of cool. I like it. Maybe this is a private hospital or something, and the people or the company who owns that private hospital also owns these apartment buildings, so they just bought this whole block of land and developed it. Or something. Who knows? Just trying to make up stories. There's also some cargo and stuff behind here, um, which I guess is just sort of a loading zone for this, was my thinking, even though it's not really connected to it. It's just, you know, it's there now, so deal with that shit. Uh, as for other stuff, there's been some reworking done of this um, entry to the city. It used to be that cars would come up here then have to chuck a dodgy U-turn back this way. Now there's just a slip lane coming through. So they sort of duck through here which is good. Also this is a park now which is nice and I think that's pretty much what I've done since uh, coming back and building some stuff. I like this intersection a lot. Looks really good now once it's filled out around here. We need to get some more buildings and stuff down here. Maybe some higher not high-rise per se, but um, maybe slightly bigger than these guys if there's some buildings like that. Uh, there's also supposed to be a No Boys mod, which was working, but now it's not for some reason, which is cool. But there is a ferry operating at the moment, taking people from Hampton Bay to whatever the hell this joint's called. Still don't remember the names of it. Haven't bothered to try and remember. But uh, that's the state of Alexandria at the moment, I suppose. Um, I'm sort of excited now to start building some new areas, because we've been in this place for a while. Well, Hasn't really been for that many episodes, but it's been for six months. I haven't actually really seen it develop a whole lot. Um, we do have the industry area, which is still doing its job over there. That will be developed further. The main issue I have at the moment is that I have to reco everything, which isn't such a big deal, but I'd like to be able to zone some areas at least some of the time. But whenever I try to zone stuff... I've gotten rid of the theme manager mod for now... Uh, but that means that it just this is a European map by default, so it just starts building European buildings. Uh, and if I add the theme manager mod, then it only builds one type of crappy asset and it doesn't load in any of the other ones. So if anybody knows how to fix that issue, please help because I don't know how to fix it. It's also an issue because none of the main buildings are loading, so when I try to reco them, I, they just don't get placed. So I don't know what to do about that. It's a pain in of the neck. Um, where are we? There's Rico. That's the Rico mod, isn't it? There we go, yeah, lovable Rico. I don't know, there's certain buildings that I'll try to place that just don't really work. I think I just need to go and download some more Rico buildings, to be honest, just some lower density housing. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of uh, doing 
a separate development just along like an L-shaped one here because this is going to be sort of a slope. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to bulldoze basically all of this and then the train line and the freeway are just going to be a tunnel that's going to come out here and then we'll develop around that and fix it later. But for the time being I want this gone because it's kind of ugly and I want to be able to landscape this area properly without worrying about having a big intersection in the way. Uh, so that'll be re... well, basically wiped from the face of the earth. I've got the Metro Overhaul mod as well, so these train lines are basically going to... Actually, this train line might come into here, and then we'll have a big transport terminal in here where we'll have some Metro lines and stuff, because I've already built the train line here and I don't really want to redo it, because it's a pain in the ass. so... Lots of stuff to be planned. This intersection will also be built, because I'd kind of like traffic to start using the bridge and everything properly in this intersection properly to see how she fares uh, and then we'll start developing some suburban residential out in this direction. I'm also aware that I haven't answered any of the questions that you asked. I missed that last time as well apparently so in the next time lapse part I will answer all the questions from this video and the previous video and possibly the video before that. I don't know how many I've missed but um if you have any questions, keep them coming. If anybody knows how to fix stuff, or if you have suggestions for mods or assets that I should download, let me know. Tell me in the comments, and I will add them to the game, because it can't possibly run any worse than it already does. But uh, thank you for sticking with me if you're still watching this. Uh, sorry it's been so long. That is my bad. Just had some stuff that I need to do, and life comes first, unfortunately. But uh, if you're still watching, hopefully it was worth the wait. I will be back next time with some more... Soul crushing city skylines building. So, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay awesome. Wow, everybody, everybody.